you and welcome back. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. So we are still at the circus. I have an amazing spear for Karlak after I bedoozled the bedoozling genie. Let me sit right because I, I'm way upright. I'm not gonna be able to lost. <laughs> All right, so we also commissioned a statue of me naked in my clown paint. Let's see what else we have going on. Ah, huh. who are you? Lucretius? Huh? Lucille! It's Pose, Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. <laughs> uh, and Boris. Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. <laughs> I was <go> I forgot about that. I was gonna say like, oh man, the circus really brings together all sorts of people that are kind of quirky. And then you pan to us and I'm like, oh well, we fit right in. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Is this a circus act? You're being a little harsh. You wanna trade? Hey. Ah, slumber, bestow curse, bone chill, ooh. Circle of death? Oh, I want that. Can I have that? I, I don't have much money left though, so maybe I shouldn't. Nope. All right, so sorry for interrupting. Interrupting a massacre? <laughs> Merkel, help me! Merkel. These three make the art of dolls look like a ritual sacrifice. Did you know I beat his ass? The bone Call man. Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. <laughs> Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a Ooh. lovely vintage. Ooh. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Oh, are you coming on to me? Because I might be into that, Boris. Skeleton looks beyond you, frozen, awaiting command from its mistress. Okay. Lucille. Little remains of the person this skeleton once was. Only polished bone and brittle teeth. This is kind of messed up. Hey, necromancer, doing what it can to entertain other people. I mean, I can see much worse be... Okay. Being done. Is this the Adams family? Little remains of the person this skeleton once was. Only polished bone and brittle teeth. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Okay, let's see what we have. Can we talk to the freaking scratchy hands here? Um, uh, okay. Well, we can't do that. Can we talk to them? Scratchy. No, I can't talk to Scratchy. Can I talk to Itchy? Nope, I can't. I don't want to steal from these lovely people. These necromancers. They seem so nice. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Toothless? Do not stand too close. The flames have a life of their own. <laughs> Do they now? Hmm. Off eating apple. Do I have. Yeah, I have animal speaking. Oh. Asumi. Hey, maybe steer clear of the beasties. One of them is near rabid, and the other is looking at us like we're supper. <laughs> well, maybe we should be. Or, ah, uh, this is what I dislike about the circus. The animals, mm, they shouldn't be in these cages. They should not be performing. Ooh, don't get too close, or Crimson here might decide you look tasty. I am tasty. I am gonna get close, because I want to talk. Can I open the- if I open these, what kind of chaos? What kind of ca can I talk to you? Girl, you know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? <laughs> Girl, we have to. We have to. All right, I'm gonna check out the circus a little bit more and then we're definitely gonna come back. Definitely. What's with the doggy? It looks like a Malbari from Dragon Age. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? It doesn't why? look... Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Oh my god. Meh, meh, meh. Can you not find a more pleasant amusement? <laughs> Gouging out our own eyeballs, perhaps? 
<laughs> Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Simply watch for the corny joke. Boo! Get off stage! Relax and enjoy the show. It's been forever since you've seen Dribbles perform. Let's go with that. I'm Baldari and I appreciate the fine things in life. Which is apparently corny jokes. He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Wahey! They love Dribbles. He's the main act, right? Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but... I have to go? Oh, no! Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> like one person. <laughs> about a magic trick. But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Me! Me! Who will me. it be? I got it. It's me. It's me. Who? Oh, no. The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. It's gonna be me. You, <laughs> my special assistant. Come on up. Oh no, we're both clowns. What are you going to do? Approach the stage. This is your time to shine, Lazel. Up you go. You do love the spotlight, don't you, Asterion? Here's your big chance. I don't want to bring the spotlight to Asterion because I'm afraid Casador will take notice of him. Lend a hand, Elson. I'm good. Okay, let's go. Oh, A I'm... round of applause oh. for the stalwart heart! Oh no. Oh no. Is he gonna eat me? Guys, you come protect me, right? What is he gonna do? I feel like something nefarious is gonna happen. I already been banished to the dino land. I always tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Yes. Me, what Shit. Makes you Shit. Special? Why do I keep failing these perception checks? Ah, uh, my courage. I do everything, even if it scares me. Uh, I treat everyone around me with kindness. My strength, of course. I won't let anyone stand in my way. There's something unique about my <laughs> brain. Got a tapple or two in it. I can magically transform into an animal at will. Let's go with Druid. Wow. You hear that, folks? It could turn into a little rabbit. Rude. Maybe a kitty cat. No. <laughs> That's not what makes you special. What you, does? my friend, are the most special person in the circus in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Is this a trick from Bortage? He's involved, You're special, right? special, my friend. Because I have a message just for... You. This is nefarious. Praise the absolute. <gasps> I sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. Oh, Jesus! Wow, we're gonna have to fight you. We're gonna have to fight you. Are you joking? I knew. Punchline. Oh my God, we're gonna do this in front of all of the children. <laughs> well, they're gone. So, guys, you're gonna help me, right? Where's everybody else? Jeez. That is sucky! How dare you! Oh no! Do we have to fight them? No, we don't. We, no, we don't. Okay, but whoa, rude dribbles! You're gonna give everything up that you worked for for the absolute? What about your fans? What about me? I was your fan! I'm so upset with you. I'm so upset with you right now. I'm gonna have to kill you now. Alright, let's see. What shall we do? Hmm. I'll go with you. <laughs> Goodbye! Fecking L. Fecking loser. Oh, so that gave my bonus point away too. How dare you. Okay, this is concerning. No, babes! I should have let them go. I should have done that. No! <laughs> Did you hear that? I always knew I'd die at the circus. And no. Alright, Bye, Becker. Asterion, you are a fucking beast, my friend. <laughs> this is what I told you. This is what I told you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Soul Breaker. And I'm gonna go with you. Taste my food. Nice. It's good to have Lazel back. I'm gonna punch you to get eaten. Goodbye. Alright, so I'm really sorry I'm gonna have to do this, Shadow Whiskers. 
Ah, I actually am. Sorry, Shadow Whiskers. Really sorry. Alright, let me do that. Let's go. <laughs> I feel so bad for it. See, she's a fucking beast, isn't she? Look at her. Look at her. Jesus, she's so good. She's so good. My goodness. This is why we bring her. Yeah, shut up. Ow, I'm, I, you like me, right? You like me. Aw, oh, damn, you don't like me. <laughs> you don't do it. God damn it, I just wanted to relax at the circus. I have face paint on. All right, let's see. What shall we do today? I'm just gonna go with my quick glass. Bye! Shall we become a bear? Why not? I feel bad for the animals though. Wish I kind I wish I freed them already. Oh Hey! Root! Are they my friendlies? They're my friendlies, right? I mean they're yellow, so they're going to help me, right? Yes! Hey! Root! Hey! Yes, he's helping me. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but I love you. I love you for that. Okay, so what shall we do? Uh, bye! <laughs> Little clowny. Uh-oh. 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 No, don't go after the bear! Okay, Asterian, are we ready to party? Let's go. Let's go! You are amazing. Why are you so good at what you do? I'm just gonna say it. My goodness. Look at him! What the hell? Whoa. Excuse me, what were you? Did you see what happened? Like flies coming off her and turning her into a doubleganger? <gasps> so these are not the real circus folks? Oh, it just got interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Lazel. You're welcome. You're welcome that you're burning now. Okay, I'm gonna try and hide a little bit. There you go. The staring is so good. He's so good, honestly. Oh, can you blame me? Uh, yeah, I don't wanna do that. Did you miss? Did you? How dare you? Oh, you didn't just miss that, now did you? Now did you? You seem to be okay. What's this? Rally. Hmm. How the dead. Ooh, we're gonna numb? What's this? Let's rally everybody. I'm gonna rally you, my baby girl. Because you need some help up in there, don't ya? Yeah, you do. Okay. Blink on double ganger. Whoa! The fuck? Bitey buddy, that's really rude. I want to attack you though. Very good, Elson. Okay, now you can attack this one if you want. Okay, you don't want that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Totally fine. There you go. Thank you for doing that. Um, how's the bear doing? The bear is okay. Can I jump to save? No, that sucks. All right. Let me just a little bit. That's fine. Oh, how did you miss? Come on. All right, that's better. Dribbles, you a son of a bitch. Whoa, where are you going? It's also a double ganger. Mm. Bye, bitch. <laughs> oh, I don't want to attack them. Shit, they're in the way! Ugh, why are they in the way? It's also so, these are not actually dribbles. Am I understanding that right? I don't want to attack that person. Fuck. Alright, at least I'm not getting her. I'm gonna heal myself a little. There you go. Okay. Let's have some cunt. Time for a new approach. Okay. Can't have. Why am I not? Hmm. Let's play. 
shit. You missed, babe. You missed. Alright. Bite the ball. I am fury. I am death. death. Okay, let's see. Sure. Very good. Very well done. Okay, let's see. Hamstring shots. Try that. That sucks. Okay. How about you go there? Thank you. Mm, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, I'm gonna rally again. I'm gonna rally my boy. Very good. Come on, get him, get him for us. Get him, get him. There you go. Love you for that. Okay, Helson. You like to party? Nope. No, you don't like to party? Okay, my boy can't reach the destination because my boy is stuck, apparently. Jesus Christ, dude. Thank you. Okay, why did you get in the moonbeam? <laughs> Ouch. We did it anyway. <laughs> why would you get in the moonbeam, Helson? Alright, I'm gonna stop concentrating. There you go. Okay, so double gangers, but these were not actually dribbles then. They're liars. They're liars, Helson. Can you stop being there a bear? Much to do. Yes, but you have to stop being a bear now. Stay breathing. You. Despite Thank everything. You. Is the clown still on? Yes. Well, maybe. Oh. I knew something was off the moment he picked me out of the audience. Ah, oh, damn. So, haha, <laughs> good performance, right? Did you all like the show? I bet you did. I thought you were part of the show at first, but that was real. Yeah, I'm afraid it was, ma'am. Dribbles? He can't be dead. He can't. If it's any consolation, I don't think it was the real Dribbles. You, you started that fight. I, I <laughs> saw it with my own two eyes. I did not. Monster. Are you cross-eyed then, mister? Because I surely did not start it. I was attacked. Can't believe Dribbles did this. I know. THE Dribbles! Uh, probably not THE Dribbles, but what happened to the actual Dribbles then? Ooh, word from... Okay, let's see. From, we see it in you. The thirst, the art, the passion. The trail of cold, bloody murder you have left in your tracks needs only the finishing touches to grant you a place among his favorite. Hmm, is that Cortash we're talking about? But he requires something truly magnificent. A circus has appeared, boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags, but more importantly, a stage. And now comes the performance of a lifetime. When the curtain falls, the Tributional will be watching. Who is that? Hey, I got that one. Clown Hammer. When this weapon lands a critical hit, both target and attacker have succeeded a wisdom saving throw or be affected. Oh, that's bad. By fits of laughter, but also me. Okay, well, I'll take it. Oh, God. Bitey buddy. Ah, well, we don't need that now. Oh, I'm sorry about the animals. I really am. I told you, it's not the actual dribbles. Let's talk to you again. Oh, dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> They're so I funny. The absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why, it's downright rude. Agreed. How dare they? An impersonator, are you sure? My face paint is looking rough. <laughs> You just lost the star of your show, aren't you bothered? I don't know, I enjoyed myself. Killing clowns is a rare treat. Anyway, I'm gonna ask, are you sure? 
as much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. <sighs> the real dribbles, charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns. Not this. Yeah. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. No, I was and enjoying. I it just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I noticed I need that. him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? I say yes. Let's talk payment. I'm expensive. I'll look for Dribbles. Dribbles is probably dead. Uh, probably, maybe, most definitely, but we will check. I can't right now. Let's talk about payment, because I am expensive and I'm a businesswoman. Huh. I can respect that. Good. And you're in luck, because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. So you're Along rich. The way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Okay. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. I sure hope not. Okay, I'll look for dribbles. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck and thanks ever so much. I love them. I love them. I will I, I will sell my soul to you. You wanna make my bones dance? <laughs> Is that too much? That's coming on a little strong today. Okay, so let's see the aftermath. The uh Attack is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Madame Lucretius has everything under control. Enjoy the circus. Oh yes, very much under control. I yeah, sure. Miss Silvertongue says there is nothing to worry about, so there isn't. Carry on. <laughs> They're so cute, those poor workers. <laughs> so cute. What about you? Oh, Mr. Hag. Oh. Miss her stink. Oh, you went all the way from the swamp to here? Mr. Hag, Miss her stink. Oh, that's nice. Can, can we go poo-poo? I gotta go poo-poo, so you guys leave me alone. <laughs> Imagine if somebody was on there. Ah, oh, it's locked. Okay, let me just check out everything else. This is terrible. The circus is supposed to be a safe place. First performance at least. You were infiltrated. That's gonna be concerning for all of us, yeah. What's this? Uh, open hand temple? Hmm. Investigate the circus. Let's do that then. Hey, we haven't talked to you yet, and you came to my rescue. You. Fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. Thanks for the yeah. help. Eh? Hey, you were wonderful. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. We gotta investigate the circus a little bit more. Who are you? Oh, how could Madame Lucretius let this happen? You're beautiful. And what are you doing here? Out! Rude! You are beautiful and rude. Oh, my experience all the time. <laughs> How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. You're welcome. No offense. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Ah, circuit poster. Let's see what this does. Why are you going- The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's gin and Dribbles the clown. Back with a new act. Hmm. We have to find something. Huh. Did I loot that double gear? Another beast key. There's gotta be something, because we gotta find. Show in journal. Find dribbles to clown, star of the circus is missing. Ringmaster. Hmm. How? How can we find you? There's a wooden chest there. Okay. We 
we've checked all of that out. Oh, you guys are beautiful. Hi. Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone Ooh! and steel. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? Oh my god, that's what we're gonna focus in on? Yes, very much with your outfit! <laughs> like Poison Ivy, she looks beautiful. I do love someone, somebody close to me actually. R re really close to me. I have no time for love, I only care for myself. Right, okay, you wanna trade? Good berries, Madonna, okay. Okay, fine, I'll admit it. I do love someone. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. Oh. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal. I don't know. Or doomed eternally. I, I like the thrill of surprise, you know, and I'm not gonna let the fates decide anything for me, so... But okay, I'm intrigued. So, Asterion, sit your ass down. Asterion, you think you're up for this? What do you think, Halson? Shall we put ourselves to the test? Hmm. Like, I need a Drea to tell me how I feel. You know what, Asterion, sit your ass down. Oh, my love. How could I say no? Oh, that's cute! Okay, okay, are we doomed? Are we doomed? Look at us. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. Don't tell me we're gonna do all of this with our clown faces on! We are, aren't we? <laughs> oh, where are we? Why do I still have my clown face on? Hello? Oh! We gotta reach to each other. I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? A starian. A tumultuous past hides behind a mirthful grin. The heart is fraught. So let us begin with the joyous. When is he happiest? I don't think he's ever been happy. When he's elbow deep in gore. He's happy right now. Look at that smile. Oh. Oh, to be honest, I don't think he's ever been happy. I don't know. You think he's been happy with me? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I, I do wish him happiness. And this feels like such a downer to say. But he's been through so much. But he does love his gore, doesn't he? I mean, look at him. Look at him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. When I'm just gonna be a little more optimistic and embrace him for what he is when he's elbow deep in gore. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Sometimes, literally. <laughs> he's so cute. He approves. Oh. Now you? Hear how your bond thrums with pleasure. Strong. Vital. Pulsing with affection. Ooh. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me, what does he desire more than anything? Me? And why doesn't he have any questions? Why doesn't he get to answer my feelings? Okay. <laughs> me? <laughs> that would be me! <laughs> oh, freedom. Ooh. Revenge, a nasty rat. I think right now, I think maybe deep inside, he might value freedom because that is what he's been longing for. He's been a slave for so many years, but now he does feel some extension of freedom. But I think in this precise moment, all he can focus on and desire more than anything 
seeking revenge on Casador. And once Casador has been taken care of, then he can focus on the future, and then he can focus on his freedom, and then his safety. But first, I think it's revenge, and I'm, I'm sad to say it, but I think it's that. In this moment in time, I think it's revenge. I'm sad to say it because I would want to... I have to think what he thinks, not what I want for him. Which is freedom. I have to... Hmm. If I think what Asterion wants, I think it's revenge. Oh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Stop making light of it! <laughs> Apparently it's a good thing. The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue. But now we must dig deeper into the most painful reaches of the spirit. Fear sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Astarian, what is his deepest fear? <laughs> Messing up his hair. <laughs> oh, to be back as a slave, maybe? Sharp wooden sticks. Oh my god, I could never break a nail. <laughs> yeah, forever feeling like a slave to somebody else. Most things fear him, actually. Oh, I think... You know what it is? I think this is diving too deep for Asterion right now. And he's been very lighthearted throughout this test. I think that is what he's looking for right now. But I do think forever feeling a slave to somebody else is his deepest fear. Hmm. Sharp wooden stick. That's disrespectful. Breaking a nail is just funny. Because I think he would appreciate that. Like, okay. We can talk about our deepest feelings and fears. But he's always been very lighthearted about it. And I think that's also a cover to protect himself sometimes. But in this test, he seems very chipper. Fuck it. I, the, the first thing I said is like messing up his hair. So I'm going to keep to that. Fuck it. I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. Breaking a nail. Ha! Well, when you look this good. <laughs> is everything approving? Ooh, he's coming to me now. He's coming to me now. Well, you were right every time. I almost wish you hadn't been, but uh, you do know me. <laughs> I, I know how you work. How close you are. Two hearts beating a perfect rhythm. But I know the truth. Only one face haunts your dreams each night. Excuse me? Close your eyes, sweetness, and she will come to you. What do you mean? One face haunts me? Who? Who haunts me? Myself? <gasps> Shit! We've been tricked! We've been duped! So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's throne. <laughs> Above you, we were having a moment. You come begging, sniffing for our stones. Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. We're already being watched. Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Did you like our face paint at least? <laughs> Damn it. I like that we were both equally disturbed. So Oren is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? I know. That is concerning. Shall we have a chat, Asterion? It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I know, and we were having such a good time. Any of you acting strange because you've been replaced, or because this group is full of weirdos? <laughs> that is such a good line, and he delivers it. So he delivers it so well. Because this group is full of weirdos. Well, 
Yes, we're a circus of our own kind. Look at us. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Can we talk though? Us. <laughs> I still love the sound of that. <laughs> that was such a good scene. Uh, shall we say what are we after the trial, after the test? Uh, I don't know. But isn't it nice not to know? Eh. <laughs> Uh, you're not a victim, not a target, not just one night it's better to forget, <laughs> but then whatever in the world could you be? I think after we finish his personal quest, we might have more of a defined relationship, or maybe he is willing to be more defined, we'll see. That foul shapeshifter Orin is like a scavenger beast, probing us for weaknesses. Do not let her shake your resolve. It's troubling. She can shapeshift. <laughs> Full of weirdos. <laughs> but we have been watched the moment we stepped foot into Baldur's Gate. And we're not even in Baldur's Gate yet, so that is really concerning. Oh, God. Orin. Skvah. Burn away the shadows she hides in, tear off her mask, and you'd reveal her for what she is, a shivering child. Hmm, that's an interesting take on it. I'm just gonna ask this now, because Hysterion had such a beautiful moment when asking, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ask about this. The Imperial Astro Touch Tadpole promises exceptional power. It also promises to break us beyond repair. This ossified parasite does not make us more, but less. True. There will be ice where once there was fire. There will be a void where our souls once resided. Which is why I don't want it to change us. I st uh, wow, I got one comment said, Oh, you're not gonna transform? It's that kind of playthrough? Lame. I'm like, okay, play it yourself, stupid. <laughs> it's my playthrough, not yours. Okay, it's not like that, Lazel, except the Astral Touch Tapples power. You'll be unstoppable. It's fine, you don't need to use it. I'm not gonna use it. I know. And I won't. Good. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna use it, guys. I'm not gonna use it. I don't wanna use it. I look too pretty. <laughs> I look too pretty. All right, so, what else? Please, uh, uh, enjoy the circus. Which will never be the same without dribbles. <laughs> I do like that he is blue and the others are purple and green. It's pretty. You look a little shell-shocked. Worry not, it's nothing a little music can't fix. They're so cute. They're so cute. Hmm. Ha, huh, but how will I found dribbles? Find dribbles. <laughs> Can you still mime? <laughs> right, totally. Mm hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, disturbing, I know. Definitely. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, I don't I'm not even gonna talk to you again. How can we find dribbles? There's gotta be something. I feel like we should start at the circus for clues, maybe, and then go from there. I just haven't seen anything. Am I looking at that right? Why does he... Okay, wait. No. A severed hand with a ring on its finger. The ring was smelted with a grinning face on the bat. Do you think... I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to make you do that. and magics for sale! Mostly bloodstain free! What is that? Yes, yeah, flesh. Human flesh, no less. Fly dibbles to crown! <gasps> so it was... What to do? It was! We got dribbles a severed hand. Can we talk to the lady about that? Um, hi, I got a hand. You want a hand? <laughs> Hello again, my vicious little warrior. 
Any luck finding dribbles? About that. Um, ah, not yet. Okay, so we have to find more parts. Oh, that means he's probably dead. Or at least tortured. This is bad. Okay. Well, hello. Hi, babe. Do you mind? Let's crack it open. Let's go, babe. Thank you. Huh, where's this? Open hand temple. We got a hand. You want a hand? Fitting. What's this? Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Huh. So what? Okay. You! Am I allowed to be here? Oh. Hi! Can we have a little chat? Brother Dominic. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Do I know you? Why are you packing up your kitchen? You should probably clean up the massive blood trail before you go. Wait, what? Why are you packing up your kitchen? Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Lorgan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. I am missing something. Can you think of anyone who wants to kill Lorgan? Where did the attack happen? Can you think of anyone who wanted to attack and kill him? Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. Well... At least, I hope they wouldn't. <laughs> That's a scary thought. But if they're pinning it on a refugee and they didn't like how he took care of the refugees, that's an issue. That's suspicious. Help the spirit. Ah, we're finally here. Okay, good. <laughs> Hello? Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. He's an investigator? Be... Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Not much of a detective, are you? You just don't like the paperwork. Shitey little elephant. <laughs> oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. That's fine. You might be on the right track. Also, do you like my face paint? <laughs> Nobody's disturbed by it. Sounded like you were having quite the disagreement. Apology accepted. Don't apologize. Sound like a load of bollocks anyway. I don't imagine Ilmater cares about you swearing. Don't apologize. I agree. It sounded like a load of bollocks. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. I'd go that far. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Lorgan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Yeah, exactly. If you think the investigator did a shoddy job, I can look into the murder for you. Oh my god, we're gonna have so many quests, aren't we? What makes Brilgore politically convenient? You should worry more about your temple's safety than this Brilgore person. Well, if you think the investigator did a shabby job, I can look into the murder for you. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Don't worry, I'm good at finding evidence, my lady. Huh, where can I find the investigator? Any ideas what I should be looking for? Can you tell me where to find Shira Crawlin? Oh, yeah, I have an amulet, but that's for later. Where can I find the investigator? Charessa's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Closing. Okay, any idea what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. 
anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle really no nah. okay true it's always the convenient thing okay somebody was murdered and the murderer conveniently offed himself and that's never suspicious yeah yeah can you tell me where to find shira clarwin <laughs> I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. How's that? She passed away last year. Peacefully, mind. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. <laughs> there goes my reward, um, spirit. We might have a problem. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Oh boy, should we talk to the spirit? Action, not for the action. Um, spirit, we have an issue. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. Yeah, about that. I'm afraid your granddaughter has passed away. Oh, no, no. This cannot, must not, shall not be. <laughs> you must open her tomb in the open hand temple post haste. She may bless us. Even beyond the veil. <laughs> oh well, not the first time I went to disturb a grave. Okay, well. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Wonderful. Very good. I love that Lazelle is the one wearing it. Ah, what's that? Can we read that? A mass book used by the Broken Gods Congregation. During regular services, there are a lot of hymns about self-flogging scattered throughout the tomb. I had a blessing of the Broken God, didn't I? You know, uh, I've been flogged myself, if I remember correctly. What's this? Seems simple enough. It's a report. For the eyes of Father Sormal of the Open Hand Temple only. Oops! Today, a rough-sought group of adventuring swords happened upon my little patch of Firewine Bridge, so I naturally exposed the benefits of our shattering saint onto them. Can you conceive of what they said to me, Art Suffer? Art Suffer. After I had warned them of the evils of the most perverted of magics, this group of degenerates claimed to house sorcerers. Sorcerers! They would not heed my warning about this generate magic, nor would they cast off all their earthly belongings and join our flock. The feeling in the pit of my stomach, as they cast pitying eyes across my pathetic form. What exquisite holy suffering. Okay, great. Huh. A selection of soups have been outlined in the sticky, often splattered pages of this missive. Dipping soup. Sometimes you've got a nice bread and nothing's better than dip bread. Okay, well, if you wanted to read that recipe, just pause the video. The suffering massives. To solve a scar or stitch a broken seam of skin is simple, but a curative for the soul, for the malaise of suffering that sits betwixt one's ears and one's heart, that is a harder balm to apply. You can say that again. Be faithful, tormented, must practice listening most intently, in hope that the act of spilling sorrow from stuttering mouth itself is soothing. We must learn which words to speak in fettered silence, and when to speak to them, but most of all, when to let tranquil reflection be. That's actually good. Sit with yourself. Feel what you need to feel. Ah, what's this? New blasphemy? Pent on official house of the broken god parchment by the revered mistress of the house, Lashbearer Katrine. Be on your guard, mind faithful, for speculation and heretical wondering has spread among the broken flock in recent times. If you are offered blood transference, report it to your temple's rector immediately. It shall not heal you. It shall not deliver you. To suffer truly in the name of our lord of the rack, your own blood must endure. Yeah, don't let anybody others otherwise I'm suffer. What's this? We let more outsiders in and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. Imagine fleeing to the city, only to be met with suspicion. The refugees face hardship at every turn. Oh, Helson. 
We have faith here, Bill. Varric? In people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Okay, so we know there's a plot for Father Lorcan that he was helping refugees and someone, some people did not like the fact that he was doing that. And now they're pinning it on a particular refugee. So he is already... It could simply be concern and that he's rattled about the murder, but it could also be the possibility that he had something to do with it. I'm not making any conclusions, but it is an interesting note. He was murdered, or so I've heard. I heard your priest died. My condolences. Or, my, yeah, my condolences. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, stranger. Father Lorgan's passing has saddened us all. I'm passing. sure. He was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive ill mated grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. That's the right sentiment to have, I agree. But I think this man is just really startled by the murder. Hmm. If Father Lorgan had been pickier, he might still have been alive. Eh. See, sounds like your god would be proud of Father Lorgan. I'll go with that. Thank you, stranger. He disapproves. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Mm. Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. I mean, he does have some <laughs> points about the absolute. <laughs> Oh, ramble. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. <laughs> I haven't seen him yet. Um, what happened? People die every day. Take it from the clown. <laughs> what happened? I... I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. About all the things we've gone through. <laughs> oh, it's hurting me. Uh. Now it's history. You want to talk? Oh, right, I already talked. Um, I just started. I'm still looking. Any advice on where to begin? The killing happened in the kitchen cellar. Could be a good place to start. The kitchen again? Oh, I, I did not see anything. Hmm. What do I need to prove Bilger's innocence? Valeria never found the murder weapon. That would be definitive proof that I missed something. A murder weapon? That's important, though. I need to know where the bodies are. Logan's in the room behind us, with Sister Rose. Brilgor's buried out back, through the kitchen and the dormitories. We'll check that out then, thank you. Hmm. Anything else? Hmm. I'll take that. Oh, I, I just took You've it. You've been caught in the act. So much for the perfect crime. I didn't mean to, I just wanted to read. You've won leniency, but lost your ill-gotten gains. That's fine. That's fine. Huh. First in my heart. Hmm. We loved Father Logan as you did. We would never hurt him. Oh. He had nothing to do with his death. The refugees. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Oh gosh. This is troubling. Bet you won't get kicked out of the temple. They blame us for everything. Because you're a thiefling. Oh, that's sad. Can I please have some food? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a priest. How incredibly sad. At least let the children in. If you're looking for Ill Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us like everyone else. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go through the kitchens again. I just sneaked my way in here. <laughs> Is this sacrilegious? <laughs> Probably. Alright, let's see. There's another plague there. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Well, let's go in. Oh, there he is. The murdered one. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? 
Be quick, I've not got all day. Okay, relax. I'm looking into Lorgan's death. I might need to ask you some questions. Do I look diseased to you? Well, I certainly look disturbed, don't I? <laughs> I'm undergoing delayed elithia circumo- Nah, but not. Elf, my- Elf, <laughs> my ear points are a bit dry right now. Ah! Oh, you don't have shit. Okay, I'm looking into Lorgan's death. I need to ask you some questions. What do you want to know? Well, relax, okay. What do you think killed Farger Lorgan? Are you agreeing with the sentiment that it was the refugee? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. Really? One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. Also his hand. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. The clown also lost a hand. We give him everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. This is troubling. Can I... Uh, examine. <laughs> well, okay. Whee! <laughs> uh, you, you don't think I can loot him? What if? Please. Leave me be. God damn. Okay. Careful, I mind. Okay, I'm gonna split. Oh no, they're definitely gonna watch me. I'm gonna split from the group for a bit. Just like all the time. I just wanna see. Okay, that works. At least things have stayed interesting. Hmm. What's this? And to suffering. A selection of rites for the dead and dying. Adore this manuscript. Let the light of perpetual toleration guide your servant's wretched form to peace. In bloody mercy, hear my prayer. Our most ardent petitions bring this soul. Adore your tear-scorched eyes. Lord, blink and let it pass into referee. The poison drained, the sickness quelled, and as I deliver this body from that which illed it, I render its soul onto your care. Okay, so we got a key for his crest. Maybe we'll learn more. Oh, not everyone subscribed. <laughs> Ever. Whatever. Okay, so. Uh, let me get the flag. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. Oh. But this was the kitchen, right? So it happened he. Oh, yeah, it happened there. Oh, yeah, it happened there. Let's go. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so. A lot of bloody. A lot of bloody. So he was alive and they cut off his hand and he couldn't scream. That's disturbing. Let's see what we can find. Oh, mushroom. There's a pouch there. Oh, let me grab some water. Water, basket of onions. Nom nom nom. Yeah, some onions for me. Hmm, let me check out the pouch. Nothing in the motherfucking pouch. Nothing in the motherfucking pouch. I'll take that. Okay. Ew. Don't want that. Okay. This is disturbing. Let's open up the double doors. Oh, a lot of blood. Jesus. Yeah, okay. But this is the altar where they flock themselves. Right? Right? No? Okay, let me steal the silver glass. It's mine now. Okay. A collection of Father Lorgan's writings on the despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ill is that which dulls, but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its mirroring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart if it's left to fester. 
but must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the wary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the wary. Let them know you can be used however they might meet. Ew! Okay, I'm joking, but that's actually good advice that they have. Oh, rights for the passing. There will come many a time, O oh worshipful tormented, that you will have to comfort a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next. Or perhaps even more distastefully, you may be faced with a dying equity of a wretched god keen to shrink the blotted afterlife awaiting them. The Lord on the rank grants us all a great many powers, but altering the moral Philosophy of a soul is one we cannot shift on the deathbed. That's good. I enjoy that they respect that. Other belief systems, they can believe and they have to accept it even if they don't agree with it. They accept the person as they are. Hmm, I, I enjoy that. I wish more faithful these days would feel that way and not wanting to conform everybody but simply respect everybody as they are and as they come. If one has lived a life of sin, their soul is bound for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. Eh, yeah, okay, okay. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. Ill nature does not forbid the speaking of untruth, no matter how polite society deems the act. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they pause, tell them that the weeping God awaits them with his balming embrace. Make them believe whatever torment their souls bears in the realm beyond, it remembers not their body. So spare them at least this final passing moment from hardship. Ooh, what a belief system. Might be useful. Mm. drum rest of plea a hastily scrawned and slightly damp plea of rest requesting to be freed of the ill major service for the duration of the 10 day as the writer mourns father Morgan. Oh. sheet music oh to the oppressed okay a crypt this must be where Shira Clarwin is buried. Oh! Huh. Okay, let's see. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Well, let's see what she has in store. This is so bad. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking cursed. Here lies Raloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died. 1486 dear. I'm an awful person. Here lies sister Shira Clarwin. There she Date is. of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Whoa, look at the imagery on the wall. The tomb of the amulet spirit's granddaughter. Time for a family reunion. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Long did I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Oh, come. Okay. Long, thou might be, alas. <laughs> Do you want to talk? You. Oh. 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 She's possessed. Ah! Okay, that's a little disturbing. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Honored Shira, her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> oh, this is so disturbing. Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Wow. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Wow, that's oh, selfish. Oh, 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 oh. Shall it be thou? That's so selfish. 
So, Char yes, Char gave him this madness, but he was willing to give it to his family member because apparently, yes, she is serving the gods that honor suffering. But I feel like that is so selfish to give her that suffering so you won't have to anymore. No, I don't like that. I, I'm not gonna bring, I'm not gonna bear this madness either. If it will bring you peace, fuck no, that's your burden to bear. <laughs> gods, no, I don't want to hit inherit your curse. And what happens if I say yes? Ponder what you know about the monk's affliction. What consequences of accepting it? All right, well, let's see. Okay, let's see. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. I don't want that. I have no wisdom at all. Uh, no. No, I'm gonna... No, I'm fine. I'm fine! <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a laugh. Oh, what are you gonna do? I knew it! Of course you're gonna necromance everybody. Oh, I'm so glad I, I, I fucked with your graves anyway. <laughs> you deserve it. Oh. This sucks. I don't want to do this, dude. He's so bitter. Bitter old man. Not happy. Okay, can, can, can you not be affected? Bye. Loser. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal myself a little bit. Unbelievable. What a selfish man. Bury the consequences of your own actions, sir. I don't even care if it was Char. Alright, let's grab you. Leave me alone. Go back to sleep. Go back to nappies. I might have disturbed your grace, but it doesn't mean you have to attack me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Get out of here. I will ascend. Yeah, you probably should. Okay, let's let's go. Bye, Sunseeker. Okay, let's just go with that. Hopefully he doesn't miss. Nice, I was afraid it would miss. Okay. Nature shall be defended at any cost. Yeah, sure, baby. Alright, shall we thunder wave ya? Let's go. <laughs> that didn't do much, babe. <laughs> afraid to say it didn't do much. Let's just be a bear. Ew. Ow. Okay, sure. Love me and respect me and follow me. Very good, very good. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's see what we have. Bye, Shira. Grabbing that one. Love you. Can't reach. That is unfortunate. Uh, what about you? Why can't I reach? There you go. Thank you. I'm Fury. I am, I am death. death. Yes, you are all of those things. <laughs> Love you. Mm, I can do more. Uh, sure. Nice. I shall not yield. I know you are great. You are amazing. Let's go. Boom! Oh, you're doing well, Helson. Let's go. I'm so proud of you. You're fine. Hey, that's mean. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no,
well. You want to have a party? Oh, that's bad. Well, let's see. <laughs> that didn't really work. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. On we go. Sure. They're undead, right? So. I don't want to hit Asterion. Fine. Boom. This feels good. I bet it does. Good. You were so great, honestly. I'm so proud of you. Okay. I'm Fury. I am death. Let's go. And you're gone. Grab that one. Good job. Uh, can you move a little? What do you mean, provokes opportunity attack? From who? From you? None can withstand nature's wrath. Okay, Elson, I get it, babe. Good job. How about you jump over here? Thank you. And you claw. Very good. Oh, you can do it again. Can you finish it? You finished it. All right. Okay. Why do you always go inside the movie? Yep, bye bye. No. Morning Lord, I call to thee. Lend your forbearance. No. No. <laughs> it's kind of depressing, isn't it? Sorry I couldn't help you, man, but I was not gonna take your curse on. I hate it having anything like this. A torturous fate by any measure. Can you stop the yeah, concentration? Jesus, Helson, just get out of the moonbeam! No. Alright. Silly All right. goose. What now? Enough time wasted. Battle waits. Alright, let's see what we have. Ugh. Oh. Fire shield. Sorry, I'm looting all your corpses. I bet the others upstairs wouldn't mind, you know, the devoted brothers. No. They don't mind that I did all of this. No. Nope. They won't pin it on me, right? I wasn't like I wasn't the one who was gonna investigate down here. No, no, it's certainly mine. So what's this dead? We still have no clue of the murder. Trap. Be cautious. Excuse what me. Now? Is that the chest? <gasps> it might be the chest. We have a key for the chest. Twenty. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I might. I might. Yes! <laughs> Woof -woo! Beaches! Okay, I have the... Oh, it's not for that. Oh, for a skeleton key. What's this, then? Ha! Easy. Let's go. Elixir of Bloodlust? Okay. That's all. Record of alleged miraculous phenomena in the outskirts of Baldur's Gate attributed to Elmater. Hmm. Customer of Gildro reckons he healed up mighty quick from a painful forge burn. Asked if Ilmater had something to do with it. It irks some talkative gent outside Carmen's powerful agent of suffering. Soup still showing up at refugee camp, even at Temple Closed Kitchen. Curious. Man's hands tied together in horse reins claims he's a holy symbol. Manic Nestor reports feeling close to his duty since relocation to the refugee camp. What's this? Okay, arcane lock. Holy water. These are the teachings. A series of behavioral lessons as derived from a deputee's interpretation of the ascendancy of the god of suffering, life and endurance, Ilmater. Some of it is wholesome, with an emphasis on gentleness and the elevation of hardship. Some of it is a bit more dubious, such as the veneration of martyrs above all living saints. Some of it is flatly weird, including some stuff about self-flagination, which is not most people's idea of a good time. No, they would be saints. Is that all? What am I missing? There was so much blood here, what am I missing? 
Oh. Something is up here. What? Is there something behind this? Is this a trick door? What? Do I need to flog myself? Hmm. I'm just gonna light them all. Not that it will help, probably. moment? Did I miss something in the kitchen? What did I miss? No, it's definitely there, right? Oh, wow! <gasps> that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. What a beautiful view. Oh my gosh, but that's not what I'm looking for. What am I missing? Have I gone here? Ah, oh, this is the dormitory. Oh, I love this. I would love to live here. Oh my goodness. Just for the view alone. Ah. Oh. What's this? Potion. Hmm. There's a wooden chest. I'll take that, I suppose. Huh. Biscuits? Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. Mm. B. Gardenson gave her life protecting fellow refugees. Oh. May the one who endures shelter her. That's sad. Why so many biscuits? <laughs> Millie Runbarrel. Oh, was it a job? By the cult of the absolute. Oh. May our martyred father shelter her. Oh. Oh, is this fresh? Brilgore. <gasps> fell to anger and rage, taking Father Logan with him. May ill mate her forgive him. We're gonna dig him up. Maybe we can speak to the dead and learn more about maybe what his motive was. If he had any motive at all. I, th I don't think this is the murderer. It's a thiefling. He was definitely pinned. No time to rest. Can I just open the casket? Lazel, you're kind of in the way. Open. <laughs> he's, he's definitely dead, though. Am I allowed to do speak with the dead here? Shit, really? Yo, can you open the fuck up? Damn it, I want to talk to you. Well, I looted him. Okay, I can't do anything there. Shit. Oh, that's the circus. What if I speak with the dead? With the father? Is that okay? <laughs> Is that sacrilegious? Listen, I just need to know. I'm gonna try and speak with the dead there. I can't seem to open the bloody chest and speak to him. Okay. Okay, I'll check this out later. I want to try and speak to the dead. Fuck off. Okay, this might be a little concerning, sister. But you're gonna have to stay out of the way. Why didn't I think of that? Why, who killed you? Who killed you, dude? Who killed you? Was it the angry clowns? <laughs> Was it dribbles? Cult regards you lifelessly. Oh, he was a handsome man, though. Who killed you? Where were you attacked? How did you die? A poison blade. Paralysis. Who killed you? Dwarf. Dressed in red. <gasps> it wasn't a thiefling. Why did he kill you? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Damn it. Okay. 
What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgor from fists. Flaming fists? Why were you hiding him? Must protect innocence. It'll make us will. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. The plot thickens and the man was innocent. Brilmer was an innocent. Did you see that, sister? Did you? Please, leave Yeah, me. of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. The plot thickens. This is intriguing. So a dwarf and he was hiding Brilgor from the fists. Is that the flaming fists? Oh my god, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna leave the episode here. We have a lot of things to be doing. We have to find Dribbles the Clown, but we also have to solve this murder mystery. There's a lot going on, but I'm really excited. I love that we're in a whole completely different game now. But we're gonna follow up the next episode on the murder. Hopefully we can find more of Dribbles, maybe a head or two, you know, or, or another toe. <laughs> Who knows? But for now, we're gonna leave it here. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you for some reason have not already. And I guess I will see you in the very next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. See ya!